This video is going to show you how to calculate the height to apogee for a projectile. To begin with, we look at projectile motion when it reaches its highest point. That highest point has a name. Rocket scientists call it apogee. So when we refer to the apogee of a projectile, we're talking about the highest point of motion. One of the key characteristics of this highest point of motion is the fact that the vertical velocity is zero at the highest point. Just the vertical, the horizontal still is something else. So we're going to use this fact to solve the problem and answer the height to apogee. So here's a question we're looking for. A ball is bounced just that it leaves the ground with a velocity of 8 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees with a horizontal. How high did the ball travel? So in this case, I'm looking for the height up to apogee. So to solve this problem, I'll start with my initial velocity and the fact that it's moving at 60 degree angle with the ground. I'll draw my component's triangle with the adjacent side being 8 meters per second sine 60, sine because it's opposite to the angle of 60 degrees, and 8 meters per second cosine 60 degrees, cosine because this is the side adjacent to the angle of 60 degrees. Next, I'll start with the table to organize all my values. I have kinematics in the vertical direction and kinematics in the horizontal direction. So when I look at this vertically, I know that it's traveling at 8 meters per second sine 60 degrees. Horizontally, I know it's traveling at 8 meters per second cosine 60 degrees. The acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, negative because gravity is going down and the initial velocity is going up. And horizontally, there is no velocity, so I'll put, I mean, no acceleration, there is no acceleration, so I'll put zero in for the acceleration. So now I'm set to start looking at the question, how high did the ball travel? So for this problem, because I'm talking about that one point in the motion called apogee, I'm going to make the final vertical velocity zero. That's the yellow square on the chart. If I have an x value and a t value from other parts of the problem, I'm going to erase them or just essentially ignore them for this part of the problem. So there's something I can solve for. Now this question is about how high did the ball travel, so I'm looking for the height to apogee. So I'm looking for the value that came from that square right there in the vertical column. I could have also found the time to apogee. We're going to talk about that at the end. So find the height to apogee. To begin with, I'm going to find x with the vertical givens. This x, because I'm in the vertical direction, is actually the height. So if I look at my variables, v0, x, v, and a, I know that the relationship I want is v squared equals v0 squared plus 2ax. Plugging in my numbers with initial velocity and the acceleration, I'm searching for x, do a little bit of math, and I find out that x is 2.4 meters. So this ball bounced 2.4 meters from the lowest height. That's the height to apogee, or the answer to the question of how high did the ball travel. But I can find more than that. So I can get rid of this for a moment, and let's pretend that instead of finding the height to apogee, the question asks, how much time did it take for the ball to reach its highest point? In other words, what was the time to apogee? So to find this, I'm going to ignore the x, I'm going to focus on the t, using my same givens, and this time again, I'm going to make the final vertical velocity zero, just for this part of the question. So, I've got the initial velocity, t, the final velocity, and a, I need a relationship that describes all these variables. So I'm going to use my vertical givens only, and I'm going to use the equation v equals v0 plus at. Plugging in my numbers, doing a little bit of math, and I find out it's 0.71 seconds. So it took the ball 0.71 seconds from where it started the lowest height, I guess on the ground, up to the highest point of the motion, or the apogee. 